Finally, golden joint moments over in Chena Railway Bridge, and this is a very happy moment for all the engineers who are involved in this project, especially the Indian Railways and the implementing agency uh, Afcons. Uh, uh, Giridhar Rajagopalan, Deputy Managing Director Afcons, is with us. Sir, at first, congratulations. Uh, after Kolkata Underground Metro and then the Chena Railway Bridge, uh, so what's your uh, first take, uh, reaction to complete the golden moment? Thank you very much for your congratulations. I, on behalf of our organization, accept it with the humbleness that is required when we do the such tasks. It's a moment of elation, but I don't think any words can express the emotions that is presently in our minds and hearts. Uh, sir, uh, can you say something about the special features of that China Railway Bridge? See, there are going to be a lot of forums on which this project is going to be technically reviewed. I am sure that for the next one, two years, there are enough technical papers that could come out on this project. Notwithstanding that, if you want to ask me some of the key features of this, one, it is designed against blast protection, which is very unique. Two, it is designed for site-specific seismic activity. Three, it has got redundancy built in so that even if one element of the bridge or the arch is fallen down, the bridge will still stand and permit it to be repaired in live condition. It is designed for 180 plus kilometer of wind speed. These along with the accuracy at which this project has been done, I think has set a benchmark for the Indian infrastructure industry, no doubt our company Afcons, and I think it is opening up the global market for us to take up such extremely engineered projects now that we have showcased that Indian engineering has got both the technical competency and the execution capabilities to execute such iconic projects. And what are the major challenges that you have faced in that valley? Because a strategically important place is that in the Jammu and Kashmir. When you look at challenges, uh, I don't think there were any ge geographical challenges except the logistics here. I should say that m m the clients or the owners, Northern Railway, along with the principal clients, Kyonkan Railway Corporation, have done a great job by creating enough roads giving access, that main challenge was overcome because the roads were built by them. Other than that, I think there have been only technical challenges on the project, but those challenges were what made this, this iconic bridge extremely exciting to work on. So it's a most challenging work. I would say yes, as it stands today in my 43 years, this has been one of the challenging moments. I would not say the challenging moment. There have been challenging moments in the past and I'm sure there would be challenging moments in the future too. But if we as a team collaborate, I think then sky is the limit. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Finally, you're standing here in the Chenab Railway Bridge, which is now finally golden joint moment over. And in coming days, the railway has been planned to start the uh, passenger service or the uh, or the uh, goods service from the Chennai Railway Bridge in very quick moment. So happy moment for everyone, especially as the Indians. A proud moment for India because Chennai Railway Bridge, world's highest railway bridge, ki golden joint moment has been achieved. So, with me is joined the Northern Railway CA, sir. Uh, sir, uh, what's the speciality of the uh, Chennai Railway Bridge? This bridge, as you have already said, is the world's highest railway arch. And the very first step was to reach over here. Very difficult. We have built around 205 kilometers of approach roads to build our 111 kilometers of railway. And for this bridge, we had made 26 kilometers of roads which include bridges and tunnels. So arriving here itself was a task. Then making an arch, you would appreciate uh, the work which we done in April 21. Uh, indeed was a very difficult task from all points of view. 
a great technical challenge because such work has never been undertaken in our country. The other one is having completed the arch in 21, we have to lay the railway deck over which we shall be fixing our tracks for running of the trains. When we push the railway deck from either end of the arch, there are stresses right from the arch foundation and every pier underneath. Therefore, we have to ensure that stresses do not go beyond control. So that, that becomes very intricate and when the deck being pushed from either end is joining, that is a golden moment for us and that is how we describe it as a golden joint. What were the main challenges you have faced uh, to work in that valley? Uh, challenges faced are number one, the perception of the engineers uh, outside to come over here because the threat perceptions, uh, because this project is going on for quite a time. And uh, that was the first one, first challenge for the people to come over here and then to access this place. And uh, the inclement weather, the approach roads uh, would give way in the uh, inclement weather, heavy rains and all that. So we would have to wait. And while welding, we have to stop the work. We cannot do the uh, welding uh, if the temperature is below 20 degrees centigrade. Uh, or else we will have to, you know, uh, rectify the defects that will be incurred. And uh, then uh, this is a place, uh, this is a place uh, where all uh, engineers from IIT Delhi, IIT Roodkee, Indian Institute of uh, Sciences, Bangalore, and uh, National Remote Sensing Agency, Geological Survey of India, all have to come over here. And uh, then uh, wherever we uh, need it, we have consulted uh, uh, foreign uh, consultants. And uh, then uh, they are coming over to the far-flung places uh, is one of the thing. And then establishing, you, would, uh, you must have seen uh, the big sheds. Uh, over here for fabrication. So all these were the challenges uh, that made the job difficult, but the grit of the Indian engineers have made the project uh, and the product which is visible to you. In our country, valley is always a strategically important point uh, for the defense sector. How it will help the defense sector uh, that uh, Chennai Railway Bridge? No, we have uh, our tracks each uh, inch of the track is uh, helpful to the public and defense as well. And uh, if you have a plan uh, to promote the Chennai Railway Bridge as a most uh, tourist attractive place as because the valley is very much beautiful here. Yes. Uh, even now, even now, the um, uh, many tourists do come and uh, they come to the uh, points uh, of the approach road where they get the, max, uh, the beautiful uh, picture of it. So it is already famous in the local area and once this line is through, uh, you would find that lot many people would be visiting and we will make the arrangements for the tourists as well to have a view of it. My last question sir, uh, is it finalized the both station name in both end at Yes, station names have been finalized. Uh, one side is uh, Salal, uh, which uh, state government has uh, given us a letter to be named as Bakkal and the other end as Dugga. Thank you, sir. Uh, Surinder, Pal Ma uh, Surinder Pal Mahi, the chief admin officer of the Northern Railway, is joined with us. And today is a proud moment for the Indian Railway and the implementing agency as because the golden moment uh, already done and the Chennai Railway Bridge from today is the world's highest single rail bridge. With video journalist Kunal Chaudhuri, this is Abir Ghoshal for News CNN News 18, Jammu.